Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so different when you're doing not doing it at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, so today is Thursday, and on Thursdays I do shop my stash, and then on the opposite week I usually do either a usually get ready with me sometimes makeup tutorial, which I do have one coming up. Don't know what I'm going to tutorial about, but I have one coming up. So. <clears throat> This is the longer part of it because in this one I actually do the lipsticks as well. <coughs> so without further ado, just in case you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming over. And yes, on Thursdays I do shop my stashes. Oh my gosh, apparently it's working. <laughs> just so you know, this is what I'm drinking. Apparently it's working. It's energy and but a little bit energetic. So let's get busy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Start with face. The Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Hyd blah, 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 Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. Here comes my cat. Hi, cat. Cat's name is Ginger. I am going to move this with my toes. There we go. Okay. I want to say yes because it really only says it moisturizes. I'm pretty sure it moisturizes. That's all it says to do. It's doing so. I'm going to say yay. It does it. We're going to probably use that again. Definitely. I don't know about repurchasing. It's kind of expensive for moisturizer. You know, I guess since I do forget to put on my moisturizer, I guess it is kind of okay. <laughs> Sorry, she likes to attack my tripod. I don't know why, but she likes to attack my tripod. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Foundation. We're just going to go. I'm actually going to declutter it. It's not quite empty. It is getting there. Oh, no, it makes so much better foundations right now and this one was it just looked I just remember the first time I put it on you know when I put it in my shop mustache I was like oh wow no not for me so listen no this is going by moving on it's like I told you I am Woo! it's not intentional and neither was this another L'Oreal product <coughs> hate to say it another I'm pretty sure this is a no. I put this back in my shop mustache in the second half of the month just to see there was a day again, again, and I was just checking out my fraction just to see Sandpaper City, Cake City, whatever you want to call it, however you want to call it. It just looked dry and cakey and ugh. I don't know if it was this or the, or the powder, but I'm wearing the powder again today and I don't notice it. However, it could be. I'll probably check in the mirror in a bit, <coughs> but I just, I didn't like the applicator and it's too dark. I remember seeing in a video when I was editing a video, I don't like I do much editing, but you know what I'm saying. When you were going back, I was going back through it and just checking it. Um, yellow, it was way too dark for my complexion and that was their lightest shade. So no, L'Oreal has better concealers, so that's a no-go. <coughs> powder. We're putting this back in the stash. I can, I use my words. I know them. I know them. But I think this was good. I do believe this is good. This is the Lorac Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder. I do believe this is good. So I do believe I'd repurchase it too. <coughs> back in the new stash it goes. This is what I keep my current stash in. This is what the new stash is in, and we'll go in here. Just, you know, FYI. Okay. <clears throat> Bronzer. Too Faced, come on. I mean, there are people I'm certain that don't like it. Not me. I'm not one of those. I like it. I love it, actually. It really, so good. Such a good color. Such a good tone match. Everything. I love it. Um, smell too. Anyway, I know uh, if you anybody watches uh, Robbie and Kirsty, she does that. So anyway, it's kind of cute. Um, I actually should toss this back in. I probably will toss it not this time, but the next time, just to get rid of it because I need to get the real version, the real, the big version, <laughs> the big girl's panties, <laughs> the right one. So. <clears throat> Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> like I said, we're going to go through these quick. Taking out some of that was actually put in there by accident. Blusher. You know, for like two bucks. Can you really go wrong? I mean, I guess on Shop I say, I've not gone there yet. I'm planning to. They have cheaper and probably better. This one just wasn't very pigmented. You'd think it would be. I mean, that's a pretty decent bright color. It apparently showed up on me. <coughs> for a soft glow, I guess, but I just... There's other cheaper blushers. Just saying. I probably won't get rid of it, but... Um, one second. The Ulta Beauty Illuminator. It's extremely bright for my skin tone in the summer. Winter is a little bit better. If I would have thought ahead of time, I probably would have thought about that. But it re looks really good in the winter time when my face is white. <laughs> but it does. It's It's got that little bit of um, prismatic effects, if you will. I love it. <coughs> it's actually really good. back of my stash but I barely used it um, I'm killing it if you can see all around the edges here I'm killing it because it's broke and so when I go to put it on or when it gets in there it just kind of yeah I'm killing it slowly <laughs> killing it slowly but yeah it's good for a nice subtle highlight and sometimes really that's all I want so it stays okay <clears throat> that's not anything either that's not anything either. <laughs> Neither is that. Yeah, it's been a long month. <laughs> okay, we'll go to eyes. <clears throat> I don't know. I know this is the third L'Oreal product I put in here. It's, it's, it's not intentional. I did that last month with something else. I think Tarte or something like that. And then Too Faced and just keeps going and going. <coughs> what why I did that too? Um... The L'Oreal Infallible Black Velvet Liquid Eyeliner. <clears throat> it's got a super fat pin. Now you can go along the edge and it's decent. Right now I'm going to go ahead and throw it away because it's pretty much had its use. It's, I remember I, when I look from here to here where my mirror is, from where I sit, it looks decent. But when I bring it close, no. So that's going to be thrown away. I don't know if I'll re get, repurchase it. Forget it. Uh, English. If I'll repurchase it, but I might. <clears throat> you never know. Quick, 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 drink, quick, drink. Sorry. Don't go in. Okay. The Laura Geller eyebrow pencil. And it's too, all the writing is gone, and I've used it so much that I've sharpened it so much that I can't even read what it used to say. <coughs> My biggest complaint is that it's super soft, and it, I have to sharpen it like every third time, every third to fourth time. <coughs> Otherwise, it's a good pencil. It's a good pencil, but like I said, it's just super soft. I don't know if I repurchase it. I don't think I would. I think there's just so many out there that are better that I just wouldn't. Uh, I'll keep it because I don't have very many. <coughs> so something is better than nothing. <coughs> oh my gosh. So sorry. Concealer star. Contour stick we won't even talk about. <coughs> Eyeliners. Huh. Have a plenty. Okay. Let's start with the black. That's not the black. They're almost identical. You can see what I mean, but they're different. <clears throat> the black I got in car by Cargo Cosmetics. It's called the Swimbles. And it's decent. I think it's better than a lot of them. <clears throat> Not as good as some, but better than a lot. I'd repurchase. It's definitely pigmented. 
It's super creamy. I think it lasts a decent amount of time on my eyes. We know that story. If you're new here and you don't know the story, nothing stays on my eyes. I have the oiliest eyes ever and it, within two hours it's gone. No matter what it says it will do, it's gone. Yeah, there goes my cat. She goes bye-bye. So, yeah, I like it. <coughs> <coughs> Holy cow. Okay. The Mally in silver. I wore this one time. I think I need to use it again. I'm not going to put it back in this stash, but I'm definitely going to put it back in a stash someday soon. I put it up here and it just, it didn't look right. It just wasn't what it should have been for. So we'll choose this again in some other look. <coughs> this by Ulta. Now this is one of their freebies. This is one of the free things you got in a bag, and a lot of times it's a get what you pay for type of situation. You can see it's fairly pigmented on my hand, but it shows up for crap on my waterline. <clears throat> I just, it's not my favorite. When will this go away? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to assume their black was good, but I didn't use their black because I had a different black. So. I'm assuming that black is good. <coughs> the Ulta Turquoise Lighter. Now this one, one eye, it looked fabulous on. I put, used this in my, I believe it was my um, collab. I believe it was. I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry. I filmed it a few days ago, so I'm not 100% certain, but I believe it was in my collab look. One eye, it showed up flawlessly. It was beautiful, brilliant. I will say my eyes were, I think that other eye was a little watery, but the other eye, oh, just, I could not, I went in and went in and went in probably three to four times and it would not show up very well. Finally, I took the eyeshadow that I had in the center and and dab it along with the waterline. Dab it, you know what I mean, put it along the waterline. I'm not going to say I hate it. I'm not going to say I love it. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to say there's better, but I'm pretty certain there's worse. And then finally, this is the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes, and this is in blue-gray. Now, it's not meant to be a very pigmented one. I feel like I'm going this way, so give me just a second. Let's see if I can. There we go. <clears throat> but it is a good color. So, and it is a decent liner. I would like to try it in black. Black is my, if I like it in black, then I like the eyeliner. But if I don't like it in black, then I'm pretty certain I won't like it in anything. I do have one more liner, by the way. And sadly, it's a dud. <clears throat> when I first reviewed this, this is the CoverGirl Gel Pot Liner. Just give me Nor. That's the color. And 300 intense black. <coughs> Excuse me. When I first reviewed this, it, it you can go back. Um, I won't remember to. I know I won't. I'm so sorry. I liked it. I remember liking it a lot. It. I don't know if it's dead or what, but it dried up so fast. I used it several other times, but this last time when I threw it in the my stash for the month or two weeks or whatever, it just, I could not get nothing out of it. I scraped and I scraped and I scraped and I scraped and it just was really, really dry. I've had so many eyeliners, so many jump on eyeliners. This is the first one to ever do it that fast. They've all dried up in time. That's what they do. But this dried up in a matter of a few months. Never, never. I'm hoping it was a dud. I'm a CoverGirl fan. Have been for 25 years, 30 years. I love CoverGirl, but nope. This I used once. It's just going to have to go bye-bye. It's just, I'm pretty certain it's a good mascara, but it just needs 
it's well over two years old. I know, just gave myself away there. Oh no, you're not supposed to keep them past six months, my bad, but I just do. I can't part with something that I spent a lot of money on. I didn't spend a lot of money on that, but it's I spent money, period. So that's my problem. <coughs> this one too, but I'm not, I'm a little less because I've had this just over a year. And even though it's the benefits they're real, which we all know benefit is a higher end brand, it's still um, because it's a mini. It was only like twelve dollars, and I think I got it at Sephora. So not too bad. I figure it was worth it. And I, yeah, I, I love benefits they're real. Oh my gosh, do I love benefits they're real? I think I like it slightly higher than Too Faced Better Than Sex, which I love face better than the sex but this one just a smidge higher okay <clears throat> so that one will be decluttered as well now <clears throat> lips products and we're going to go through these as fast as possible because I know this video is getting really long this is one of them I'm really not certain this is the Urban Decay Vice liquid lipstick the dry down is great problem with that is it's too great you know how it dries down too much and it just kind of sucks the moisture out of your lips and you kind of get that I've heard it called the whole lips well for me it just just looks like desert lips dry cracked lips and yeah literally just like somebody sucked all the moisture out of my lips and they look crappy I don't know I'm going to keep a hold on to it because I just bought them just over a year ago. <coughs> yeah, just over a year ago and I really don't want to get rid of it yet. <coughs> so sorry. That'll go away someday. So I'm thinking about holding on to it. Okay. First I'm going to go through the ones that I'm actually going to hold on to. So, then I'm going to go to the ones that I'm not. I'm going to kind of do these at the same time because I put tossed them both in there. They're both Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I adore the packaging. I saw someone at the March had one of these too. I am actually whoop, dropping one of them. That's what I'm doing. Um, it went out there and I'm not going to pick it up because nope, I'm not. But oh, but I really want to show it to you. This is the darker of the two. I forget what the name of this one is, but it's more of a reddish brown but it's a muted red it's really pretty really pretty obviously I'm not getting rid of that but the packaging is so gorgeous and the formula just as gorgeous beautiful feels wonderful this I finally saw the, the I finally saw the name to this it's called pink lemonade so apropos so appropriate just oh I loved this I wore it one day and I was like I was just like, I look beautiful. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this is a new one by Milani that I bought recently. I'm not getting rid of it either. Milani's lipstick formula is the bomb. Everybody knows it. This is in their creme formula, and it is kind of a sparkly. It's called Bronze Beauty. And it's creme, but it's got a bit of uh, <coughs> there's a little bit of a glittery feel to it but nothing so over that you, you know that you would notice okay <coughs> we're gonna spit that up someday sorry making certain none of these are the ones I want to get rid of this is Wet n Wild. Everybody knows Wet n Wild's formula. Love the color. Perfect for fall. I think I'll toss that back in too. Just saying. And this is a really pretty sparkly pink and doesn't have that really big of a sparkly feel, but it's a sparkly pink by Ulta Beauty. So, definitely a keeper. Now, for a couple that are not keepers. It is not the 
color, or it is not, it is the color, it is not the formula. NYX Soft Matte, I love their formula, but this color is just not for me. Uh, in the tube, it looks like it would be, but when you wear it, it's this bright pink. I'm just not a bright pink person. It just, it really washes me out. I think if I had more of a tan, maybe self tanner on, it might not look so bad, but when I'm in my normal coloring, you know, just looks like that, you know? So that is going by the way. Oh, and just a little FYI, part of my monthly shop my stash, I'm gonna to try to be getting rid of two lipsticks a month. Lipstick, lip gloss, lip something. Two lip products a month. Probably not lip liners because I don't have a lot. At least in my opinion, I don't have a lot. Just saying. Okay. Last but not least is by BH Cosmetics, same, although this one is very old. So this can conceivably be, conceivably be gotten rid of because I've had this for like four to five years. But the color is super pale on me. I mean, it's pretty, but it's just super pale on me. I mean, it's the color of my skin. And I just, I don't like that. I mean, I'm certain some people do, but I don't like that. Not at all. So I am getting rid of these two. Now, I do have a few more of the products, and I'm just going to quickly mention them because there was nothing wrong with them. Um, this pretty one by um, Nude Sticks, I believe this is in the color Rose Blush. Nope, Sin. <laughs> sin, my bad. Sin. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty pink, gorgeous color. So. It's staying with me. <clears throat> and this lip liner by Sephora. Now this one I remember I had the hardest time finding the color. I want to say that's it right there, but I can't read it. Nope. Nope. No. There's a whole lot of writing, nothing that says a color. But I know at one point I found it. Right now I cannot. Oh! Found it! People need to learn to make their writing bigger. The nudist. This video is going to be about 40 minutes long. My apologies. I promise you the rest of it will fly. <clears throat> this one is in Sucker for Grey. This is in Essence. I've done a swatch on my lip liner collection if you'd like to see the colors. And this one, don't ask, I'm not going to say it because I can't remember it. I remember looking it up and finding it, but I can't remember the for the life of me. So it's a nice deep shade for fall. Okay. And I had two lip glosses, one I cannot find for the life of me. It was my Huda Beauty. My only lip gloss, my only thing, my Huda Beauty. I can't find it. I don't have a clue where it went. I am so disappointed. I hope I find it, but there's a part of me that doesn't think I will. And then I had this other one, but it is called, not Dragon Fruit, Passion Fruit. And it is by Elizabeth Arden. And it smells and tastes great. Okay, yeah, you're not supposed to taste it, but it does. <laughs> okay. Fast, 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 fast. <clears throat> I have the products as well, unfortunately. You do know, as I've already told you, that I'm reinserting three, not one of them, two, <laughs> two of the products from the other one. This one, and I swear there's another one, but I can't find it. So, it's all right. Not necessary. Here we go. <clears throat> Dump it all in here so I can see it. So we can do this fast. So all I'm going to do is tell you nothing else. Just tell you what it is. I'm going to, for my, um, holy cow, I forgot primer. Not start my primer. I will tell you in my next video. 
I even had it in my mind which primer I was going to use. Oh yeah, I'm going to use the um, milk, milk makeup, milk makeup. Hold that thought. When I find out, I'll tell you. I'll try to link it in the video. Anyway, for foundation, Josie Moran 5MC. Yep. It's in the color Dynamite. Yep, Dynamite. For concealer, the Josie Moran Argan Oil Stick. Argan Craving Concealer. I'm trying to watch my. Don't know, see that. Anyway, moving on. It's in their lightest shade. <coughs> for powder, like I said, I'm going to use the lag again. For highlighter, I actually chose two. I just kind of wanted to grab two. Because this one can be, I have it on today, if you can tell, I don't know, but everything that I'm, is on me. I just didn't put any primer on. I just don't think to do it when I do a video. Only when I go to work. <coughs> this is the e.l.f. Illuminated Palette. It looks like that. Yes, we are going to swiftly fly through this. This is... It is by Icy, and like the Icy in the mall, the, the jewelry, fashion, headbands, and all that stuff in the mall, it's by Icy. It's that color, and it's the pinkish white. It's really pretty. <coughs> For blusher, another e.l.f. blusher. Different though. I do like this one a lot. Evidently I do, because you can see I am have already hit pan. I'm wearing it. It's really pretty. This is an elf blusher I do like. That's why I thought that one would be good, but it wasn't. <coughs> For bronzer, I'm mainly going to cross. This, this is a Revolution, Makeup Revolution bronzer palette, but I'm mainly concentrating on these three here. But I might see how that looks, and I might see how that looks under the eyes. That shade there I might see how that looks under the eyes. <coughs> Just not <to> sick. <laughs> okay. For eyes. Yup, because it's all over the place. Not for the eyes. <coughs> Still not for the eyes. And I think that's it. Okay. Oops. One more. One more. Okay. Yeah, I know. Don't judge me. Okay. So. This was all the rain for you, so Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner. It's as old as the rain. <laughs> so we'll probably be decluttering this at the end. For the waterline gel liners, whatever you will, I am wearing this one by Elizabeth Arden. It is a black one. It is in smoky black. I pulled out this one by Julep, and I believe it's in rich brown. I had the hardest time trying to find it. It's in silver writing on it. Oh, why did they do that? Anyway, and then this one by Wet n Wild, and it is another turquoise. I love turquoise. And I'm not sure the color, but we're going to be using that. I also pulled out this gel one, or this liquid one by Ulta Beauty. It's a gold one. I don't, I'm going to see if I can do some kind of adventurous looks with it. <laughs> Might put it back in my stash for the rest of the month. <clears throat> also, because what I'm trying to do is trying to test out everything that I have reviewed, or first impression actually, not quite a review, but more of a first impression. And I, this is the Ofra um, liner, in, and it's nice lighting. Killer Queen. So let's hope that works and that will go. I'm hoping to use it a couple times. Hoping I don't have the same problem as the cover. For brows, this is the new Alme one that is in my Alme video from Monday. Because this is Monday, buddy. I, yeah, it's actually watching it right now. It's on its way. <laughs> um, almost done. <coughs> But by the time you see this, it'll already be uploaded, and others will be too. But anyway, for brows. And for mascara, 
The Mali Moore's More Mascara. Four lips. Here we go. No particular order. Woohoo! We'll start with liquid. This one, have so much fun with this one at the fall. It's very rich and vibrant. It doesn't look so rich and vibrant in the, in the tube, but it is. It's going to be a fun one to wear in the fall. This is a, definitely a fall color. <coughs> Put that right there. This, for a nice pink shade, this Milani Amore Metallics lip cream in, don't know what the color is. We're not worrying about it. It's a nice metallic pink. Also, for a more pinky shade, this Essence one that I also reviewed. And this one is in the shade Mad Matters. I feel like I wore that just recently. Oh, this one I'll probably need to be cluttering. This is by NYX. And it is in the shade Adis Araga. Ara, Ara, Aroga? I'm not certain. It's a place. Adis. Adis. Araga. Araba. Ababa. I am so not certain. <coughs> Probably declutter that one because I'm just not thrilled with the shade. And this one, also NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, in the shade Berlin, I believe. Rome. <laughs> so different from Berlin. Well, and then I pulled this one. This is my only other Dalton Tin Beauty product I have besides their concealer. And this is really, oh my gosh. Yeah, I promised. Okay. And it is in the color something or other. Material Girl. Okay. I chose two. <clears throat> Two tube lipsticks, an Ulta Beauty, nice nudie color, very subtle, very soft brown, nudie color. Ron something. We're not going to go into names if I can't see it in the first 10 seconds. That's all it is. And this one is in a nice red. Ah! Uh, of course it is. It's by Elizabeth Arden, and guess what it's called? Red Door Red. Of course it is. <coughs> Last but certainly not least, lip liners. I chose five. Don't hate me. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay. Wet and Wild in Brandy Wine. Not sure about this one. These came from Ulta Beauty and it's part of a collection. I could never find the name. It's a nice brown shade. But a softer shade than this brown shade by Morphe. And it is in the color Trendsetter. <coughs> I chose a wet and wild red one. And this is in the color Red the Red the Sea. Interesting. And last but not least, a nice pinky shade. And this is by A Cosmetics. And it is in the color Romantic Rose. All right. There you have it. I am done. So sorry this video was so long. I like to get a thorough review of everything and let you know which ones I'm decluttering and which ones I don't like and which ones I do like. So, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. If you, did, if you didn't, I understand. Uh, you won't be hearing this anyway. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. Let me know anything you use, anything you don't, anything you think about using because of this video. I'm rushing through this. Yes, I am. I just don't want to make this an hour and a half long. So it's probably already 45 minutes long. So let's just wrap this up. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you, hopefully, in my next video. Oh, I can't. Not without. Okay. I want to start doing this because I have 52 subscribers. I know how many I have. I want to start shouting out to those that are out there. So quick, quick shout out to, I've decided to go ahead and choose my latest subscriber. Her name is, her YouTube name is a touch of C. 
Sarah. Oh my gosh. No. Daily dose of Sarah. Oh my gosh. She's going to kill me. <laughs> she's new. I just watched a couple of her videos. She's rather cute. She's young. She's got that new young... And I mean, I think she's going to go places. I really do. She's, she's vivacious. She's got that... And I just watched two of her videos. She did a fall haul type of thing and where she, you know, did her room up at Halloween. And I also watched a, just a regular haul where she talks about, <coughs> so go give Sarah some love. Her, like I said, her channel is names for the third time. Daily Dose Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye.